Hey guys, for you let you know that Feedly for iPad finally have been released and it's the version of Feedly Mobile 2 window. Basically this is my RSS reader for finding all, all of the latest tech news and all like that that I use. I use it in my little iPad Touch, it's wonderful. And now they upgraded it to Mobile 2.0 version, so that's some kind of cool new features in this release. First of all, as I said, they introduced Feedly for iPad. 10 inch tablets, yeah, obviously the iPad 2 is 10 inch, so yeah. Also, they're introducing Feely for Android tablets, both 7 and 10 inch. Also, this is one of my favorite features I already tried out, and it's awesome. That is the ability to swipe when you're inside of an article in Feely on your little device there. You can now swipe and then read the next article. So that is kind of sweet. Also, it seems like they have now bring in search feature. Also, it's instant, so that's something we love. We seeing Google Instant, and you know we just love it. Also, now that you will select, be able to select black or white theme by go into settings or just use this shake gesture on iOS. Also, one of my favorite here is the ability to start on your favorite tab. Let's say you are into the latest, or let's say you are into gadgets, then you will be able to start on that, I suppose. So. That is kind of cool. Also be able to read through the history, history section, better images, better performance improvement, an Android widget, and also application recommendations from Apps Fire. Then they also fixed a ton of things. Now, uh, it, it doesn't seem that they have fixed this thing that you will be able to unsubscribe from your little device, but hopefully they will introduce that. This is not a free app, but it, really, if, if you are into the latest tech news and stuff like that, then you definitely should check it out. I bought it and it's it's superb. It's, it's awesome. So, that is kind of cool. See you.